Hey Shalom, all praises to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai, Ba'asham Recha Kodash, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well, peace and blessings to the elect. Alright, this here is Amma One from the Great Millstone Camp in Trinidad, coming back to do another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh pray to the Lord for, 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 for courage and, and a bravery. In this shoot, all right, because the day is going to come when we'll need that. Um, this is Ezekiel 7 25. It says, Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. What I go and do, I just go and hit scriptures that in um, that links up with the times are going to come very soon. Time of Marshall one Jacob's trouble because them, them days going to come just now, all right, them days going on. Uh, appear on us just now. Daniel 12, verse 1, it says, And at that time, Michael, that, and at that time shall Michael stand up the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time, and at that time. Thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. Jeremiah chapter 30 verse 8, it says, Alas, for that day is great. Verse, verse 6, it says, Jeremiah 30 verse 6, matter of fact from verse 5, it says, For thus saith Yahweh, we have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and out of peace. Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his man with his hand on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness. Alas for that day is great, so that there is none like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Alright. Them days going on come just now on the earth. Luke the twenty first chapter and the twenty third verse says, But one to them that are with child and to them that give suck in those days. Those days we're talking about specifically seventy eighty with the sucking of the temple by the um Flavian dynasty, Father and his two sons Vespasian, Titus and Domitian. That is the specific days. But those day the, these is the same people um, Vespasian, Titus and Domitian were white people. Were, they would have been known back then as Romans. Today they are known as white people, but they are of the nation of Edom. And it's the same nation of people ruling today, Edomites. And hey, there's no New thing on that his son and his shit has repeated itself. This is going to happen just now too. It says, For there shall be great distress in the land and wrath upon this people, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations, and Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the time of the Gentiles be fulfilled, and that is the actual Gentiles. It says, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth, the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring, men's heart failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth. For the powers of heaven shall be shaken. All right? The powers of heaven shall be shaken. These days go down come on this earth. If all you don't get all yourself right, all you will get caught up in it. Okay. It's no way looking for a specific precept. Um, it 
Hey, Matthew 24, verse 6, And he shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that he be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. Okay? Go and have all of them things happening right here on this earth. Right here on this earth, all these things going on happen. And all you refuse to get all yourself right. Is that in ninth chapter? Is that in ninth chapter? And the nineteenth verse it says, "Through the wrath of the hour of hosts is the land darkened, and the people shall be as the fuel of the fire. No man shall spare his brother." And he shall snatch on the right hand and be and be hungry, and he shall eat on the left hand, and they shall not be satisfied. They shall eat every man the flesh of his own arm. Okay, that the Lord bringing out, bringing down judgment on the rebels. All right, the Lord bringing down judgment on the rebels. No, eh? No, 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 scripture. It's a lucky. It's a lucky. Oh. Get some more, get some more scriptures on days to come. Ma Joel, Joel chapter um, 2 verse 1 it says blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of Yahweh cometh for it is nigh at hand okay the day of the Lord cometh it is nigh at hand a day of darkness and of gloominess a day of clouds and of thick darkness as the morning spread upon the mountain a great people and a strong, they shall they had not been ever the like, neither shall there be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. That talking about World War Three. Okay. Look up farming. Jeremiah 11 verse what? Verse 22 it says, Therefore thus saith Yahweh of hosts, Behold, I will punish them. The young men shall die by the sword, their sons and their daughters shall die by famine, and there shall be no remnant of them, for I will bring evil upon the men of Anathoth, even the year of their visitation. Jeremiah 15, verse 1, it says, Thus then saith the Lord unto me, Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Cast them out of my sight, and let them go forth, and it shall come to pass, if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? Then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith Yahweh, such as such as are for death to death, and such as are for the sword to the sword, 
and such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity, and I will appoint over them four kinds, said Yahweh Ba'asham Yahweh Shai, the sword to slay, and the dogs to tear, and the fowls of the heaven and the beasts of the earth to devour and to destroy. Okay. Jeremiah 16 verse 1 it says the word of Yahweh also came and came also unto me saying thou shalt not take a wife neither shall thou have sons nor daughters in this place for thus saith Yahweh concerning the sons and concerning the daughters that are born in this place and concerning their mothers that bear them and concerning their fathers that begat them they shall die of grievous deaths they shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried, for they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth, and they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine, and their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of heaven and for the beasts of the earth. Okay? Because what are going to take place during what you know what the, what the world would grow into knowing martial law? Okay. That's what that's when all of these things going on take place. Jacob's trouble. The time of when Jacob gonna be in trouble. Okay. The time when the Lord bringing down the hammer on Israelites. First Peter four seventeen and it says for the time has come. That judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? Okay? So at that time we reach, when judgment go and take place. And the judgment go take place on you Israelites. Okay? Use the temple at the Most High. Lord coming back to judge all your for all your wickedness, all you do on the earth. All right, Lord coming back to judge all you. Hey, Micah chapter four, verse twelve. There's a rise and trash, as my God for entertain. O daughter of Zion, for I will make thy own iron, and I will make thy hoof brass. Thou shalt beat in pieces many people, and I will consecrate their gain unto Yahweh, and their substance unto the Lord of the whole earth. Yeah, I feel like we will let up this. Um, with that, I will give all praises to Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai, Ba'asham Rakakwadash. And hopefully, yeah, you've been edified. This war is going to come. So, remember to stay in the spirit of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. Shalom.